Hi everybody, this is Darren Moore, Application Specialist and AutoCAD Certified Instructor for CAD Microsystems, here with a little tip about importing a PDF into an AutoCAD drawing and then adjusting the scale. I get um, asked this question fairly often, how do I import a PDF and then what if it's not the proper scale? So we'll look at how to do that in what I hope to be a short video. Let's get started. All right, here we are in AutoCAD 2024. I currently have no file open, um, but I'm going to create a new file. And this can be done, this activity importing a PDF can be done as far back as uh, AutoCAD 2017. Um, but it's improved, the command has improved a little bit since 2018. So uh, let me do this. I'll start with starting a new file. Left click new. And I think it's important to start from new here. I'll use the ACAD template, select it and click open. And then I want to check the units of this drawing. When I go to scale this PDF up, I'm going to use a command called scale reference. And I want to use uh, some architectural units like 20 feet 7 inches or something along those lines. So if I go to the application menu, click on that and go to drawing utilities, then click on units, or you can just type the word units. Your ACAT template defaults to a decimal length type format. And that's going to be tough for me to use accurately with, you know, I, it just it's going to be easier for me to use architectural units. And then I'll click OK. And then let's let's save this. I'll do a save as, and I'll just save this into um, a project manager folder. I'll call this. Uh, import PDF. Oh, there we go. Import and scale PDF. We'll use that and I'll click save. And um, it, save. There we go. Sorry about that. So I uh, save my, my new file. All I've done so far is change the units from decimal to, ar to architectural. Let me go to the insert tab. On the insert tab, we have a PDF import button on the import panel. I'll click PDF import. And I'll navigate to a folder where I have a series of PDFs. I'll grab this one called A2.0 1.2 Rev B, uh, select it, and click Open. And typically, I don't change a whole lot in this dialog box. Uh, usually, the location checkbox is not checked on by default. I definitely want to specify, specify my location on screen so I can sort of track where this PDF goes. Uh, data to import, vector geometry, sure, solid fills, true type fonts, if you have them, all those things. Layers. This PDF, I think, was created by Revit. It won't have any layers. But if I did, the objects would be sorted onto layers that are prefixed with the acronym PDF. Then for import options, I don't want to import as a block, but I do want to join line and arc segments, convert solid fills to hatches, apply line weight properties, and what the heck, I'll go ahead and infer line types from collinear dashes. Now, if AutoCAD could read the scale, it would say PDF scale colon, say, eighth inch equals a foot, or three sixteenths of an inch equals a foot, or whatever. But it's not saying that here. So this PDF is coming in a full size, which is probably 30 inches by, well, you can even see right here. There's the page size, arch E1, 42 by 30. This is not going to be a full size floor plan. But we can fix that. We'll click OK. And I've got my PDF at my crosshairs. Let's do the old 0, 0 as my insertion point. Enter. And the import is taking place. And we've imported this file. So if I look anywhere or everywhere on this PDF, there's no displayed scale. So what I need to do is hopefully find a dimension somewhere. And I have one right here, 20 feet 8 inches. I'm going to use the scale command. I'll go home, and then I'll window select all the line work from this PDF. I'll, maybe just, I'll just do a Control A. Control A selects everything. With everything selected on the modify panel, this icon with a small square in the bottom left corner of a larger scale, a uh, larger square, excuse me, that's the scale button. Left click scale, and the command prompt will say specify base point. I'm going to zoom in to where that 20 foot 8 inch dimension is, and I'll left click the end of that, uh, it's a quadrant there, but I'll click the end of that grid line, left click. Then on the command line, I can see it says scale, specify scale factor or 
copy or reference. I want if now if I knew the scale factor, if I had a cheat sheet that said, okay, this is an eighth scale drawing and the scale factor is 96, I could just type in 96. But this this PDF does not have a listed scale, so I'm going to click reference. Left click reference. And the command prompt says specify reference length. Now I have a dimension right here, 20 feet eight, eight inches. I'll between these two column lines, I'll left click column line 23, and then I'll specify the other column. I'll left click the other left uh, column line, left click. Now the command prompt says specify new length, and I'm going to type in that value. Hard to see, 20 feet 8 inches. I'll just 20 feet 8, and this is why I changed the units to be architectural. 20 feet 8, enter, and then I'll zoom out and take a look at what I've got here. Let's use a distance command. Left click distance, one left click, two left click, there's 20 feet 8 inches. So we did a PDF import, insert tab of the ribbon, import panel, PDF import, and then we didn't have a listed scale, so we window selected, or we even did a control A, control A to select all the content associated with this imported PDF, started the scale command, scale, and when specified or, or prompted to specify a base point, I left click one of the column lines near a dimension, uh, near a dimension, uh, left click that uh, as my base point, left click, then I choose reference, reference, right, and the command prompt says specify reference link, that's that dimensioned area. So I'll go one left click, two left click, and then the new length was 20 feet eight, and that should create no change, right? Because it already is 20 feet, eight inches. So this is how you would scale up a PDF that you needed to be full size if it had no listed scale. So hopefully that's going to help some of you folks out there who are importing PDFs. I'm going to save this and I'll see you in future videos. Have a great day.